problem 7.2-1. The 12 inch by 12 inch square column is subjected to an eccentric or off-center load at a distance d from the centroid along the y-axis. Determine the maximum value of d where the load can be placed without causing tension stress in the column. The origin is at the centroid of the cross-section. The length of the column is 8 feet. Here is our xy coordinate system. Its origin is at the centroid of this 12 by 12 square column. We have an off-center load P along the y-axis, and we want to find the maximum distance for D uh, that will not cause a uh, tension in our column. I've begun by drawing a free body diagram of our column. It shows the eccentric load P, and that's acting at a distance D from our x. Uh, vertical x-axis. At the uh, the bottom of our post we have our resultant forces, a normal force acting in the uh, vertical direction, and also a moment. Summing our forces in the x-direction, we will find that our normal resultant force is equal to the load P. Then summing our moments about the uh, the bottom end, we find that the moment is equal to the load P times the eccentricity distance d. Now let's consider the, the internal resultant loads separately. First let's look at the normal load, which is an axial load, and it is causing compression of this column. If we consider the stress associated with this load, it's going to be a normal stress. It's sigma is equal to the axial load divided by the cross-sectional area. And its distribution is uniform across the uh, the cross section. Now let's consider the moment. The moment is creating a normal stress in the column. The equation for the normal stress is our bending stress equation, or the flexor equation, which is equal to the moment times y over i. And the distribution of that stress will be compression, in our case on the left side, and tension on the right side. Now let's consider the stress distribution in the cross section when we combine the stress contributions from the normal stress and the bending stress. Here on the left side of the member, our compression stresses will combine. So we'll get a net compression stress. On the right side of the member, we will combine the compression stresses from the axial load with the tension stresses from the bending load, and they will cancel each other out. And since we want to find uh, our a uh, distance d for which our load p can be applied where there is no tension then we must cancel out all of the tension stress with this axial compression stress. Now the point where our tension stress is at a maximum is on the far right end or a distance w over 2 away from the neutral axis. So what we're going to do is we're going to set our maximum tension at this point equal to the axial compression stress so that we get a net zero tension stress. I'm going to call this point point B. So we will say that at point B we will set our axial compression stress equal to our tension bending stress. The formula for the axial stress is the internal axial resultant load divided by the cross-sectional area. The formula for bending stress is the flexor formula internal moment times y divided by i, the moment of inertia. Now substituting values into our uh, equation here, our normal force is equal to p, and the area is the uh, area of our cross section which has a, which is a square, has a side length w, and so the area is w squared. And the moment we found to be p times d. y is the distance from the neutral axis to the point where we're evaluating stress, which is here at point b. That distance from the neutral axis, where the stress is 0, to point b is half the width, w over 2. The moment of inertia is the moment of inertia for a rectangle, which is the base dimension, which is this width here, times the height, which is perpendicular to the neutral axis, which is also w cubed divided by 12. And solving this equation for d, we get that d is equal to the width divided by 6. So for our member, the width is 12 inches. And dividing by 6, we get an answer for d equal to 2 inches. 
So the result is that the largest value for D, which will not cause tension in the column, is 2 inches. And we're done.